Greetings and salutations, friends. How are you doing today? I was readjusting the thumbnail and downloading the video game. It is just about done right now. It actually released on time as well, which is unusual. Like most of the time, you'd expect these to, you know, you gotta restart Steam seven or eight times before anything actually happens, but not this time. Weirdly enough, which is a mild... It's, it's, it's a bit disconcerting, frankly. Like, hold on. You're actually going to release the video game on time? What is this, quality? Like, it's Paradox. Surely it can't be quality. Jesus. I mean, it's Paradox. Have you seen their recent track record? Victoria 3, Chris... I mean, Crusader King Kings was all right, I suppose, if not exactly stunning. They took over a prison architect and then turned it into an enormous vehicle for DLC. But, at the same time, Triumph Studios has pretty much been hitting it out of the park with pretty much everything they've done, so... Oh, we've got a furry on screen. Good. It's like, hello, we're weird invaders from a, a different dimension. Oh, and we do not come in peace, as it turns out. Through strife, Arthas didn't like that. Champions arise. New unities are founded. Ah, Black Elves. Good. It's a modern video game. And powerful arcane knowledge unlocked. As Wouldn't want it any other way. Mortals clash. The forces unleashed will shape a new age of wonders. Race war in the future. Oh, God. What is this in the past? I don't know. It's not Planet Falls, so it's got to be in the past. Surely. Welcome to Magehaven. Thank you. Magehaven is a sanctuary between worlds. From here, powerful rulers called Godir venture to realms within the Astral Sea. Hmm. As you conquer realms, other Godir will gather in Magehaven and join your Pantheon. You will also gather Pantheon experience, which unlocks new options for creating your Godir and their followers. Your Pantheon will tell your story of the fourth age of wonders. Step through the world gate. Your first adventure awaits. Huh. Well, this is weird. I'm almost feeling like I'm playing a video game that might actually be good. I, I, what, what is, what is this? What is this odd experience? I, it, it has, it has been a while. Well, it's only been since like Teda Invicta since I last had like a game that actually, you know, looked and felt good. But wow. Uh. Like chat says, yes, it's always good when the main menu requires a tutorial pop up. Correct. Hmm. All right, all right, let me just get the background up here as well. All right, well, uh, new game, I suppose. Destination. Fields of E-Rebirth, Initiation Realm. The training wizard king first preyed on small part for the harmonic realms. Don't want their skill, or will you be the protector and invader of this beautiful domain? Ancient ruins, crystalline abundance, uninhabited blah blah blah. The Husk Clan's Dead Realm. Jesus, okay. Undead will plague this realm. Course if I'm dead, no respite. Alright, so these are all, um... Yep. Players, difficulty... Simult... Ah, oh, thank God! Simultaneous turns. Yes. I mean, simultaneous turn has its issues as well, mind you, but still. Hmm. Nice. Okay, realm traits. Loads of realm traits. Nice. Tons of customization. Okay, okay. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Where's the random button video game? Where is the press button to make everything random button video game? God damn it. It's not a random turn, is there? Uh... Rules that are left to randomly proceed to generate instead of picking from existing rulers. Alright. Uh, 
Well, I suppose we'll leave it on, uh, now. Let's... I have no idea what I'm doing, so obviously we're going to put them on hard to begin with. For shits and giggles. Yes, yes. There we go. Turn timer. I don't think we need that just yet. World world threat. In army, savannah, fragrance, and attacking. Okay, neutrals. Interesting. Victory conditions. A turn limits. God, I hate no turn limits are awful. Oof, no. Uh, victory magic expansion. I don't even know what that means. We'll just leave it as regular for now. All right. So desert realms, frozen realm, Arctic and Highlands provinces are common. Frozen, like home. Demonic Astral Invaders. Astral Sea Creatures, okay. Low Population, Peaceful Lands, Rampant Flora. I do like the undead. Pretender Kings. Basic Zelda. Starts with two additional cities. I don't even know what that means. What about this? Arctic provinces are affected by Arctic blizzards. All surface combat is affected by Arctic blizzards. Units in these covenants have Arctic blizzards. I don't know what that means either. We'll, we'll just... We'll do these. These, these seems fun. And hey, off we go. You have the unique ability to create your empire and the people living in it. Nito Cheeto. Take auto combat off, didn't I? I think it's just uh, comments where I always ask. Yeah, it, it asks, I believe. It's just about when the hero, when the hero dies, it's auto combat off. Which sounds reasonable, because if you lose your general, they auto combat. I kind of like that. We'll, we'll try it out at least. Starts here. Okay, we can be furries, humans, uh, humans with pointy ears, humans with weird teeth, uh, humans that are short, more furries, humans that are short and with fuzzy feet, uh, smaller humans, yet again. Hello. Well, that was easy to decide. Alright, here we are. We have apparently some undead right next to it. Cruel Bright Lord, new ruler emerges. Explore surrounding Spanish domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choices will shape the new age of wonder. Tomb of the Horde. Fiendish rodents. I am Ratkin and I am Barbarian. Yeah, I am Barbaric. There also seems to be a lot of us, and we tend to eat each other. In rituals! Good. You know, we wouldn't want to eat each other just randomly, but ritualistic cannibalism. Far more socially acceptable, in my opinion. Berserk. I mean, that sounds kawaii. Can one strengthen? Ooh, that sounds very nice. Oh, do I? Oh. I don't choose one, I get them. During play, Mr. Blah, 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 tutorial. Take yep. Some time to look around and familiarize yourself with your new surroundings. Oh, wizard, don't you know what the WASD keys do? I, I, I know, I know. I, I, I understand the WASD keys. Why will you not die? Thank you. Tutorials are for wussies. We don't like those things. One of your cities. Rat Pike. Cities are no. Much better. All right, food, draft production, gold mana, lots of contextual tooltips. Awesome, awesome. I don't need to learn how to play a video game. Leo Scavalt says, I'm using this stream to decide whether I'm going to buy or not. Have fun, Arch. Well, that is exactly why we're doing these streams. Uh, Vulture becomes a member. Welcome to the bridge card, indeed. And Tunisnev says, you missed out. Create your own rat faction. Well... I'll do that when I know what the hell I'm doing. So... Well, 
Oh, so you can't click on the banners. Well, that's slightly stupid. Uh, Pathfinder. Okay, so you are scouts. An army is made up of individual units. I don't say. You can see a unit's tier, unit Ooh. role, and movement points. Am I a rat riding a larger rat? No, I think I'm a rat riding a wolf. Ah, I feel like the wolf might eat me, honestly. I don't think that's the safest mount for a rat. Tower of Torment? Well, that sounds hospitable. Right, well, there's only four of them and there's five of me, which means uh, we're gonna bully them. Obviously. Welcome to the field of battle. Here, you must kill and rout your foes in order to claim victory. I don't think there'll be much killing the scout in this, honestly. Okay. All right. This is a polearm unit, a frontline melee fighter. With its first strike and charge resistance abilities. All right. All right. All right. So they're anti-melee. Selected a unit. Yes, action points. I kind of wish there was a tutorial setting which was like, yes, I'm not a complete moron, just show me the new shot and the mechanics. Um, and there's an 8 blight damage. Hard hit by range stack, shield, defense, overwhelming tactic. Sending it to a friendly unit. Oh, okay. Shield bash, corpse eating. All right. Damn, there's a lot of abilities here, isn't there? Whoa, shaman. Who can wield magical equipment and learn a variety of skills. Magical. Alright, these are ranged lads. Fiendish Rodents Skirmish Unit. Flanking tiny lone enemies. Alright. So, what do you do? Are you a, like a mage? Are you a fighty lad? You look magey. Unaffiliated. Hmm. Corpse eating magic bolts. That sounds magic-y. Right, what you got? Uh, out of range. Okay, what is the range? Can I see the range? Uh, range four, I'm presuming. Okay, it would be nice if it showed me that precisely on the map, but eh, minor complaint. This is a support unit which can use magical abilities to heal and strengthen its allies. Poison Blast, Invigorate, Temporary Hit Points. Ooh, Neato Cheeto. This is a skirmisher unit, which is flexible and uses both ranged and melee attacks. With its high speed and slippery ability, it is the perfect unit for hit and run attacks. All right, all right. Kawaii, kawaii. Come, Skellingtons. Feel my furry fury. To be cast. Spells can have a variety of powerful effects and can turn the tide of battle when used properly. Song of Recklessness, Furry of the Horde. Uh, that's not what I intend to do. Wait, did I do it? No. Uh, target anywhere. I thought I did. There we go. They squeak. All right, javelin, range four. This unit has a ranged ability selected. Ranged abilities have an accuracy rating, which is the chance that the ability will hit the intended target. Oh, well, apparently I've got a lot better chance of hitting that one than that one. I don't necessarily know why. It tells me down there which targets I can hit. All right. Uh, I've got a 90% chance of hitting. Huh, okay. What's happening now? So, it changes the things. Overwhelming tactics, 75%. Nay, I guess, I guess that's the efficiency, maybe? Uh, anyways, throw. Your unit is oh. an enemy's zone. Okay. That was not entirely what I'd intended for you to do, but... Very well. Uh-huh. Shut up! 
Okay, so let's do that. I was going to do that earlier. I need to... Okay, right, thank you. Left foot to do the thing. All right. Right, so they've now got 10 temporary hit points, which means they can absorb the initial strike without actually taking any damage out of it. And they rush on in and do their thing. Now, can I fire me magic into melee combat? It does look like it. Me magic is not very effective, which makes me a little bit sad, but we shall do so nevertheless. Bazappi. All right, and you used your turn to cast the spell thing. All right. Okay, okay, so far so basic, but so functional as well. Black Magnus 17 says, Hail Arch, Christ star, Lord and Savior. I'm a little bit sad for my poor little skirmishers as they were, uh, you know, kind of sent forward without any real reason or plan for why they should do so. I thought I had the ranged attack selected. I did not, as it turns out. Lesson learned, by the way. It does not continue to keep your ability selected after you deselect the unit. So, uh, there's that. Alright. We're just whacking away at this thing. Um, if I move in there... No, because there's, there's dudes in there. Wait. Oh, really? They're flying. I figured I couldn't attack the flyers with melee units. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and then we can fire acid bolts at them, which will probably kill them. Yes. No, no, grazed. Okay, so that's another damage effect. So if you just graze a unit, you can't kill it. Uh, in enemy zone of control. Okay, so I can't fire magic if I'm in the enemy zone of control, which makes sense. Uh, I cannot move out of the enemy zone of control, I'm presuming, without getting an attack of opportunity, which also makes sense. Oh, well. Actually, I don't know if I wanted to do that, because that just kind of lets me take more damage, doesn't it? Sort of. Alright, alright. I do wish it would play the combat animations a little bit quicker, but I'm sure there's a uh, button for that somewhere. Black 1917, gifted five memberships. Thank you very much, sir. Can I click it away, maybe? Ah, there you go. You can speed it up a bit. Because he's got that whole civilization thing where units have to attack like 17 times to do shit, which is a pinch annoying, but again, hardly the worst thing in the universe. Alright, so those little bastards survived the first attack, which I didn't like, so... If you could please die, that would be absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. This unit has suffered casualty. I am aware. So I can heal using that. Destroy tired corpse to heal 15%. Does that waste my turn, I wonder? Does it cause an attack of opportunity? Let's find out. No, so you can use that whenever, and you can then do your turn. Nito Chito. Alright, I'm going to take that attack of opportunity. Because I really kind of want to go over here and kill these guys. So, that unit is still going to be flanked now? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'll fight the undead. Yeah, wasting my skirmishes was not the wisest maneuver I've ever committed to, I will admit. I might lose my hero too, which will be... Yep, I will. <laughs> okay, and then because you don't have a hero, you only get the auto maneuver? No, I'm still in control. Hmm, okay. Alright, so now these guys are flanked too. Are they... Are they regaining health, or am I imagining things? Alright. We'll take the auto attack. I do not seem to be doing a whole lot of damage against these guys, do I? Like, I feel like I am getting my ass beat like nobody's business, and easily, too.
Well, I'm flanking them. Any corpses to eat? Uh, yes, but they're standing on top of them, which is uh, pinch unfortunate. Ah, which missed. Okay, well, uh, this unit is deado and uh, shield bash. Bane's average target unit becoming stunned. Uh, 66% chance. No, they still get to attack me back. And they resisted, so that was a complete waste of time. Nice! God, yeah, this is pretty goddamn brutal. Alright. And they are healing! Alright, so they must be healing when they do damage, I guess? Some kind of vampiric ability, maybe? Temporary HP, like Protoss shields, that might be it. Because I don't seem to be doing any damage against them at all. And you literally can't do anything now. All right, all right, right, right. You know what? Fine. A unit. Very much so. Yeah, that was a one-sided slaughter. Yeah, they're, they're still full health. Okay. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was awful. Jesus. Oh, you can. Oh, you can just do. Okay. Alright, we're gonna use that as an excuse to figure out the combat system a little bit. Fair enough. Alright, let me actually read their things. Defense mode, charge alone, Whiteborn. Unit trade, the undead unit type, Lifesteal. There you go. Yeah, that's the thing, Lifesteal. I knew there was something, because they were clearly healing as they were beating my ass. Okay. So. Oh, that makes sense. Right, let's not kill our skirmishes this time, because I feel like they might be useful for some weird reason. Black Jew say, play undead, fur and friends, make it so. The fur and friends. Mm, we got by Skaven first, though. We got by Skaven first. You know, so far, this is looking solid. Really solid, actually, which is weird, because it's a Paradox game, and I wouldn't expect that. All right, so what do we got? Um, that'll give me temporary hit points, which is very useful. Always hits, cooldown three turns. So they get to attack me first, regardless of what I do. So I don't necessarily... Is there a benefit to being in terrain, I wonder? Uh, I don't seem to have any ability to, like, click on it, so I'm not entirely sure. Right, let's try. And just, because they can move up there. So if I bait them in a little bit more... Maybe I can start out the battle with a nice flank on them. Let's try. Nope, the AI is smart enough to only ever move so as to put itself in range. Okay, okay. Clever, clever. Alright, so three melee units. I'm gonna have to try and collapse them. But I can tie them up in combat and then try and get the flank on with the skirmishes, I'm thinking. Right, so first and foremost, if you move in there, you move in there, and then you move in there, I'll have them all tied up. And then I can go in with that unit. Alright, so... You move. You move. You move. And you move. And then we do the thing for temporary hit points. And... We might as well strengthen as well, why not? Oh, okay. Oh, no, that makes them berserk, which means they'll they'll attack, so that's why. That was an attack of, uh, well, not opportunity, but... Alright, and then we try and move these guys around the flank. They can still do a ranged attack, but they only got 50% chance to hit, which is rather dreadful. Okay, Tigvan's resistance becomes immune to flanking. Let's do that. Okay, so we've got them tied up. 
Yeah, having cavalry in combat with pikemen is, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, the amount of damage they do. Orgo5... Uh, Org50 says, Hi, Arch, how would you describe Roman-style spaceships? Roman-style spaceships. Uh, fill of pillars, I'd imagine. With giant bathhouses and stuff. Yes, that's all reasonable. Alright. So that has a three turn cooldown, so I can't do shit with that for a little while longer. Uh, okay. If I flank them over there, I'll have the flanky attack on them. Yep. Which does a lot of damage. Yep, flanking's pretty powerful. Alright, well, we're doing a lot better than last time. That's certainly something. You're melee crazy, so you did your thing and then nothing else. Alright. And I can kill them. Nice, nice. I would imagine they'd be just incredibly ostentatious, honestly. Like, literally, like, Baroque palaces with uh, internal ornamental bathhouses and pillars everywhere and... Enormous temples mounted centrally in the ship, and probably quite beautiful. As if the Romans have spaceships, I'm assuming they've pretty much conquered the rest of the uh, the planet at that point, and probably would have the resources to spare, frankly. Uh, ah. I would love it if it would, you know, actually select the, you know, logical ability to use against the unit. So if you hover over an enemy, then you're probably going to be attacking the enemy, you know? Alright, alright. So when we knew how the video game functioned, it, uh, it got easier, as it turned out. You were about to begin exploring. Okay, so reinforcing. How is reinforcing done? I selected a unit and opened the unit. Being this shows the details on a unit. Guard, pending others, enable auto explore. Uh, how or possible outposts? Let me just. Let's see. Does popping it back in for a turn, maybe? God, I hate that you can't click on the banners. It's throwing me off really, really badly. All right, so you're like half. Half health. Said arcane research, said production, rat pike. We'll see if it just auto reinforces. Let's see at dash. Astromar says the AI only puts itself in range, so not like the Advanced Wars AI that use their range unit as meat shields. Oh, well, yet at least. The Guardian says Hail Arch, Age of Wonders, a great series, but I like Disciples and Heroes of Might and Magic more back in the day. I can totally see what you're meaning there, because I've always kind of viewed the Age of Wonders series as almost like the uh, the poor man's Heroes of Might and Magic, honestly. And I still kind of do, but maybe this game will change that. That'd be nice. Alright, so chill for the turn. Set Arcane Research. Enables you to learn new spells and acquire new units. Okay. The culture and tome you have chosen for your faction. Warhounds. Determine the initial skills you can unlock. That's pretty Arcane cute. Research. Let's get those. Uh, ah, there we go. Your empire will research the skill over time using your knowledge income. Knowledge income? Once the research is completed, you will choose between three new skills. All right, randomized tech tree. Cool. All right, city structures, knowledge, and draft income. Draft good units and cities. All right, that makes sense. So basically manpower, your ability to mobilize the population. Cool, cool. Food income. I mean, food sounds like the natural first thing. Uh, plus 48. I'm not exactly running low. Vendor, gold income. Gold sounds useful. 137 a turn, which sounds like a lot, but I don't know if it actually is. Production income. Alright, let's start with a workshop then to start getting some production going. I am generating food. These are my units. Assign, give Whispering Stone. Passing on previous season's ability to return. Maximum bonus of 20. A Whispering Stone. 
used to negotiate with free cities. Wow, there seems to be a lot of mechanics in this game, which I quite like. Alex Hoffman gifted 50 Archcast memberships. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, those of you who were gifted, it should also say thank you. Uh, Lurker says they heal when they end the turn in your domain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Change the name. Ritual of Alacrity. In the front of hit points, remove exhausted and forced march. Ready for use. Right, do I have a governor? governor? No, nope. Kroll is busy doing his stuff, Here so you can see all that's fine. Heroes that can become the okay, the, the dual tips need to pop up a little bit slower, video game, because they're a little bit quick right now. Alright, um, should we get to work on a second army? 60 gold, 80 draft, 3 turns. Unit upkeep 34. Uh, what is this unit's upkeep? Six upkeep, so not a lot. Okay. We should probably get started on a secondary army then. Advice, seven, event log, spares. Is your spell list. You can cast various spells. All right, strategic spells, nothing available just yet. Empire Chaos Affinity. Chaos Affinity is called to have a change and destruction. Okay, so several different, almost like, religion types. Nice, nice. One out of three cities without suffering economic penalties. Okay. Imperium. Aquatic City Speeding of Empire Development and Negotiations. Mana. I mean, so far, the game looks really nice and complex, which is great. I just hope it is not an Imperium Rome kind of thing, where you look around the screen and you're like, Wow, so many buttons! And then you realize, wow, none of the buttons do anything. <laughs> um, race customization. Okay, you know what? So, apparently the race customization was a big deal. So, let me actually have a peek at that, too. Because it's not like we're deep into a campaign or anything. Because, apparently, the race customization was really good. So, let's have a quick look at that, shall we? Back up into the sky I go. Oh. The sky looks depressed all of a sudden. It's a little dead rat. It's like, Massa, why? I, sorry, chat wanted a customization thing, okay? Choose. Wait, quick start. Does that allow me to random? Starts here. Huh. I don't know. Choose your destination. Quick start. Can I hover over it? Your journey starts here. No. Choose your destination. I'm presuming it's random. Okay. Starts here. Right. So custom. Create faction. In the following steps, you will create your people, followed by your ruler. Oh. All right, Merlkin, that's disgusting. Toadkin, that's pretty disgusting too. Ratkin, the old. I don't know about that though. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. There should, there should only be this. I, I don't recognize the existence of female rats. Furries, goblins. Furry humans, small humans, elf toothy humans, and sharp pointed ears humans. Right, lots of humans. Well, we're obviously going to go for the rats, duh. Okay, so. Change body trait. Fast recuperation, bulwark, quick reflexes. Nightmare mounts. Mounted units only, though. Spider mount, ooh. I do like spiders. I do kind of like spiders. Quick reflexes make sense, though. I definitely wouldn't be riding unicorns. I'm pretty sure my rats would not be riding little unicorns. That seems silly. Sneaky. I feel like sneaky might be just as good as overwhelming tactics, though. You know, there's the rat. Goddammit. Arctic Adaptation, Fast Initiative, Cold-Blooded. I feel like either one would work well, but uh, we'll go all for them. Tactics, I guess. Resilient? I don't think they'd be resilient. If anything, I think they'd be riding spiders. 
Spiders and rats have uh, a deep and intimate connection with one another. Feudal. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> okay, right. Elf rats. That's that's great. <laughs> it's very stupid, but that's great. Like his hands glow because he's an elf rat now. A highly developed society. Oh, I, uh, mm -hmm. Barbarians, the people who thrive on war and aggression. Industrious. Ah, dwarf rats. Yes. Of course. <laughs> the vilest insult to all dwarf kind. Dark rats. I mean, that sounds a bit more reasonable. And mystic rats. Asian rats. Oh, we Chinese now. Or Indian or something. Alright, I mean, the only possible, I mean, for the insult factor, dwarf rats would work. Thematically, dark rats? Dark, dark rat makes sense. Yeah, dark rat makes sense. Barbarian rat makes sense too. But to piss in our favoured enemy's cornflakes, we're of course going to be dwarf rats. What defines their society? Uh, insults. Like, they have a religion based entirely around insults. Ritual cannibalism, prolific swarmers, imperialists. Signs of evil. Close. I wonder if there is a just insult everyone you meet trait. Ruthless Raiders? Hmm. That sounds like an insult to me, yes. Experienced seafarers. We will cross land and water to piss on our neighbor's foot. <laughs> to be fair, probably. Uh, ruthless Raiders, then. Choose your first tome of magic. All right. Roots. Tome of the Furry. Tome of Fate. Zeal. Souls. Evocation. Warding. Pyromancy. Hold. Hmm. Tome of the Furry. Oh, we even got a first own. Fursona spell. Huh, lovely. Well, I'm already a furry, so Tome of the Horde sounds cute. What is your ruler's origin? Where's Ed King? Seeking dominoes of a new realm. A ruler risen from the ranks of the people. All non humans get trying to expand and start with home relation with free cities. Have the over channel ability in combat. Casting points. World map. I mean, we want to engage with the magic shit, don't we? Because the magic shit is kind of the cool shit. Physical sword form. Uh, Jesus, okay. Ah, physical form, as in uh, gender, basically. Okay. Well, we're going to be absolutely teensy weensy because, I mean, that's what we are. A sort of furry, a species of furry. Ah, no, the body type slider is the gender slider. Of course, natürlich. Physique. Tiny. Arm length. Ridiculously long. Leg length. Tiny. I don't even know if I have a skin color under all of this decking, but if I do, it'll be, uh, I, I literally, I lit oh, there we go. If I, if I turn him, there we go. The white savior of the... Of the rap master race. Uh, pose. Jesus, I'm some kind of barbarian child left outside in the woods to raise rats in the ways of the dwarves. Very well. Head. Not that I can tell the difference. Eye collar. Not that I can tell that difference either. Maybe helmet. There you oh, oh, I'm hideous. Wow, that's disgusting. I don't want to be that. This is worse. Oh, all of these are worse. Oh, lovely. Uh, is there a species slider? There. No. Damn it. 
Um. I don't think there's a species slider. All right, you know what? Put the fucking mask back on again. Thank you. I'll just be hideous under the mask. A cape? Oh, that looks su suitably ostentatious. Can I change the color of my, my face covering? No. No, I cannot. Or maybe... Well, I can change the color of the coins on my stupid hat. Well, that's good. And the race. Right, physique. That's enormous. Oh, God. Yes, bodybuilder rats. Ugh. Arm length. Stupid long. Leg length. Stupid long. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Very natural. Very natural indeed. Right, bright pink whiskers. No? no? I'll just give them white whiskers then. Right, I don't want a candle. A candle doesn't seem natural. Is there perchance just an enormous middle finger anyway here? Uh, rat. There you go. Your journey begins. Hmm. Chaos Prince. Last name. None of your business. Ruthless Rodents. No, 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 no. There. Onward. Oh, my name is Chain Shatter. I don't know if that's correct. What do you mean physical form, Chain? I want physical form. I like being a goblinoid, uh, halfling thing, elf thing. I don't know, but I like it. Whatever it is, whatever it is, I approve of it. Okay. All right. So we've got Hoymans. You have selected a unit and opened the unit panel. Sort of. Some time to look around. Elves and dwarves in beautiful harmony. All right. You have encountered you. Well, I mean, there's a lot less enemies around this time. No, 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 no. Much better. I do hate the fact that you can't click on the banners. It is infuriating, and it is making me very sad and angry. You're about to enter combat. Right, so auto combat. How does that? It just does that. Okay, fair enough. Nice and simple. Ruins. I guess there's something in there. Maybe? No? Maybe? Oh, no, it isn't ruins. It's an iron deposit. Well, oh, fair enough. Oh, God. I keep clicking on the muff hop and banners. A glorious victory, O Chaos Prince. Mm, you right clicked quite, uh, quite well. Hound Masters, because cute. Workshop, because probably. You have selected a hero. Ah, yes. The halfling master race of the... The, dwar the dwarven rats. Mm. Logic. Let's see... Warfare. I am guessing... Is this just for me, or is this for my army, I wonder? Restore. I'm guessing this is for me, then. It has damage until the end of next turn. Lightning Evoker deals damage to target enemy unit and two others within three hexes. That sounds amazing. Let's get that immediately. And I unlock a skill at level five. Fair enough. The second day dawns. That looks pretty. 
And it was. Onwards to more ruthless victory over our neighbors. This doesn't seem too much of a fight, so we'll just kill them. Nodes are often occupied by marauders. To claim the node and its benefits, these guards will need to be removed first. So... Okay. A quarry can be built here thanks to promised features. You can annex this province via nervous city that has grown in population. Okay. So I'm gaining population... Two turns until next population increase. No promises annexed. One more population. Alright, alright, makes sense. I probably should have gone for... Oh, it's done already? Oh, that was quick. In that case, we probably want to go for just loads of food then, so we can start uh, annexing everything around us nice and quick. You have gathered a large amount of Imperium. This represents the influence you have over the world. I do like the narrator. Use it to acquire new cities, unlock new empire skills, or speed up city growth. All right. What about this then? What is this? What is this? Stranglehold. Apparently, is that an MP? Baron Gareth Nightbeater. Nightbeater. Oh, oh, at least his right arm gets some working out, I guess. Sanitations, Kale Sprints, Arch. Uh, forget the name. I should have called myself Arch Thirty Foot. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive us for being wary. We may not share your beliefs, but we ask you to respect Strangleholds territory independence, nevertheless. Whispering stones start negotiations and gradually improve their allegiance with you. Alright, so they're a free city. Stranglehold. Alright. We'll give them the Whispering Stone, I guess, and we'll see what comes from that. He did mention that he doesn't share my beliefs, so I'm guessing he's not like destruction. Or whatever the hell I am again. Three destruction, two industry, one shadow. All right. I feel like that's probably a bit of a derpy mix, honestly. What is this? Lesser Tide Spirit and Stormscale Serpent. The video game informs me that I should be able to win that nice and easy. All right. And so we will. Ooh. All right, that was a bit close. All right, and that. You have selected a magic material. These have various unique effects if acquired via annexation or through trade. Gathering all materials from a category will yield a powerful empire-wide bonus. Nice. I'll probably do want to retreat and but uh, heal up a little bit. Arrival in two turns. Good. Stability measures how happy the people in your cities are. Outside of dark cultures, which do not suffer from low stability penalties, you generally want to keep your stability high. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm a tiny bit dark. I'm a little this dark city inside. Has grown and gained a new population. Each additional population enables you to expand the city's domain by placing a province improvement. All right. Hmm. I'm guessing that's built on, yeah, it's based on food. So let's start out with a farm, shall we? So a mention I could use Imperium, cost 30 Imperium. Oh, hello. Okay, so, uh, well. I wish I'd known that a turn ago, but hey, we didn't waste too much time, so nice. Um, 78 money. Forests gives me a little bit of food and a little bit of production. Okay, well, I just bought, like, a bunch of population. Where do I see how much population I, I have? Uh... Uh, I don't know, but I'm sh Is it that number? No, five turns. It's not that number. One? No. 
Well, anyways, we're gonna build the mine, because an iron deposit, so that's probably special. A gold vein, that sounds very useful, so we're definitely gonna get that, obviously. Anything else cute nearby? Another mine, another iron deposit, yep. Why not? Nice. My empire grows larger. As I keep clicking on the motherfucking banners. Alright, you go over there and chill for a few turns until you can recuperate effectively. Now we've got ourselves a Howl Masters. Uh, so many irregulars. Almost got you into. Attack Hex. Offering us loser strength. Attack to bolster defense and bolster. Gain. Blaze the Horde. Fire damage. That one. You just chill there for a bit. And we need to keep building some stuff. Alright, well, I don't know what mana is used for, so let's not get that just yet. Grand Mill, more food income? I don't think there are building slots, so I think we can just build whatever. So let's build a Grand Mill to keep boosting up our empire. Let's... Okay, how do I... Hero recruitment. Uh, I'm just going to... No, no, no. Okay, so I'm presuming I need units before I can build any heroes. Right, let's queue up some dudes and get moving on a second army. Uh, near the Archtopia name as a number five. Yeah, that might be five, one, two, three, four. And if I'm presuming that's a number, that's another city that requires a populace, that would be five. Yes, chat. Continue your glorious scouting mission, little spider thing. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. How's your healing getting along? Uh. I'm gonna kill that. Occupational hazard. As your troops approach the band of mercenaries, guards, they raise the white flag. We were hired by a rich merchant to look after the mana node, the leader of the gang, a dark warrior, explains. We expect to protect it from the roaming scoundrels, not against a full fledged assault. Please accept our surrender and let us go. Good character alignment plus five. Ten gold. You gain a dark warrior unit. Shock unit. Which counters shield units, but are countered by polearm units. Sh sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, only uh, six. I don't like that. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of that. Like six units? Come on. Spider Hatchling. There. Why not? I'm not a massive fan of that. Like, you, you should have more units. Like, six units in armies. Not a, not a lot, is it? It's, it's a pretty pathetic army. Uh, you go back there. Pretty sure you can move further than that, buddy. Lazy little bitch. That place is red. I don't know why that place is red. Small dons and occupied. Send out invasion armies. Okay, so that's one of those neutral army spawner things. All right, fair enough. You're pretty much full strength, so we'll send you off over there. Uh, did you? No, you're still building the Houndmast unit. This is the Empire oh, hello. Development tree. Here you will specialize your empire towards certain play styles. Increase your empire's affinity to open more options. Alright, so you do want to go down certain affinities to unlock stuff. Unlocking your next empire skill every turn, depending on your affinity values. Once unlocked, you can spend Imperium to obtain the empire skill. Unlike research, the empire skills provide more passive bonuses and activate immediately upon... Choosing a tome 
will alter your affinity, which represents your attunement to specific cosmic forces. It can also be altered by picking a signature skill for your ruler. You will require a large amount of specific affinity to unlock higher tiers of tomes. All right, I understand somewhat. If you have multiple stacks in range of three tiles of combat, they will join you in battle. Okay, that's nice. Our trophy express expands you the real dwarves. Uh, we of Archtopia are impressed by the expansion of your... What? We of Archtopia. Are you sure you don't mean we of Stranglehold? Well, that seems to be a misunderstood considering one of your possible territory camps. My city of Stranglehold is rapidly expanding. We need more space for our people. The area in question was claimed by us for a reason. In the need for a plane at Utopia for Stranglehold. The Fertile Plains. Uh, Loser's sector to stranglehold. 200 swayed for 18 turns. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that at all, buddy. I don't know about that at all. Oh, no, okay, so I thought that was a territory... Okay, I thought that was a territory I had that I had to surrender, but instead it was a territory I could claim instead, okay. Well, in that case, I would have gone for the other one, honestly, because I want to see what the diplomacy is like against them, but... Oh, well. Kill. A hero can choose a new hero skill every time they reach a new level. All right, level three. How do I open your skill pan, little hero? How do I open your little skill panel? That is a very good question. Right, you go back there, join up with that army. And... Let's see. Is there any way then to get a hero character for it? There we go. Hero recruitment. Did... Did that... Do... Any... Did that do anything? Um... Did that do anything? Uh, okay. How much more? Outposts for locations. I don't know what outposts are. I'm sure they're cute. No, don't go. Don't, don't, don't leave. Click, click, click. Hero? Prison crypt? Here, you can recruit a new hero. Okay. Your hero cap increases with each city you own. Local heroes originate from your own realm. Once you have developed your pact with a free city, their experienced heroes will become available to you too. Okay, well, I know I'm over the hero cap, but... That is rather expensive, but I'd rather have another guy. Um, how do you build... So, is outposts... Uh, search is claiming from province for its owner and forming the foundation for a new city. Yes, outposts are cities. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, cancel that one and finish that one. And we'll be getting turning that into a new city. You go for auto explore. Just uh, go find something to play with. Ten percent accuracy. Fire Walker. Let's do that. Take the cities. The heroes are good. Affinities on the bottom are how you break into new affinities in a pinch. Yeah. All right. Let's see. You're... We'll give you a turn in friendly territory, and we'll give you a turn over there. Right, 
Is that unit done? It'll be done next turn. Okay. Right, let's deal with the monster den. Grand mill. Lovely. I do feel like I need some more gold now, so we'll begin building gold buildings. Set our cane research. Spawn kin. Enhanced crow companions. Scout units in one area. Two vision on the world map. That's not bad. Number of units in formation. That sounds really good. Let's do that. You have encountered a hostile free city. They are independents that can be vassalized, integrated, or conquered. Threatening welcome. Perhaps insults were to be expected. Yes, I am the lord of insults after all. We'll show you in-depth information about another ruler. Declare war without justification. So, I don't exactly know where they are, but uh, I'll just tell them goodbye for now. Denevelton, we ratty lords of Denevelton will fight you for our freedom and standing against anyone who threatens our free city. You are a shame to all rat kind, you filthy, filthy whore. Alright, you are uh, down there. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll deal with them first. Right. Off you go to scout out our most vile and evil enemies. You two. Alright, they've got four dudes over there, five guys over there. So a decent little army. So you alone probably won't be able to do shit. Hmm. But I should deal with this first before they sp start spawning random shit at me, so... Ooh. Rewards. Uh, Black Joe says, A big bug flies into my room. I catch it and feed it to my rat. Bob the rat is happy. Good. Happy rats are good rats. Crusader's Claymore. Um, I guess I get all of these. Hunter Spider. Fiery Wake Boots. Alright. I feel like I am building an army of spiders at this point. I feel like it's also going to be derping my goddamn income, frankly. Alright, well, um... Yes, we'll switch those out for those, because those are bigger spiders, and since they are bigger spiders, they're almost certainly better spiders. We're not going to recruit any more units. Uh, we can claim more stuff, which is why we should claim more stuff. Uh, we can claim... What do I even need? And more food. So I'm guessing there's a... I can only expand so far in any given direction, I'm guessing. Alright, do I go for that city or do I make an outpost? Crawler's Nest. Alright, counts as quarry. Minus five stability. Well, that sucks a little bit. Ride for vengeance. When Bane the Sorcerer approached me, I was a lonely child, he explains. Uh, nobody asked. And you realize you're in for a long story. Indeed. In for a long story. The only friend of Fred I had was my pet nightmare, Spot. Your, your pet nightmare. Very well. I love that beast. His impression darkens. But then the spirit wolf come and attack our village. Everyone fled except for me and Spot. He died protecting me. On that day, I swore to have my revenge on that spirit wolf and its kin, and now I have tracked it down the killer of my best friend. Will you help me kill the spirit wolf? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, I'm guessing that was a quest. Right, so kill that is what I'm under getting from this. And I did just forget to give him the other unit. You keep up with that. You just kill random shit around here. 
Uh, no. Your XP now. Die. Listen. Listen. You're just rats. I already have you, okay? I don't need you. The humans were kind of cute because I didn't have any humans before, but you, well, you're, you're just a rat. I'm sorry. I have too many rats as it is. Uh, town hall. That sounds useful. One province in X-Range? Aha! Okay, so that'll... All right, so there's an next range province. Because so, I was wondering why I couldn't get that, but that is probably why. That makes sense. You gotta have a larger city to annex more stuff. Large enough for you to construct a wizard tower. A wizard tower. This beacon of your power provides many bonuses, including valuable Imperium. My God, I can be a wizard if I so choose, Harry. Now, to be fair, I might wish to choose to be a wizard. All right. Well, if I'm gonna kill those. Damn, they're getting quite a lot of stuff, aren't they? Hey. Alright, we'll let them heal up a little bit. You done already? Jesus. Okay, well, I'm actually literally out of money at this point, so uh, just generate me some cash, I guess. They build fast, don't they? Enchantments are spells which allow you to empower your armies. They apply to all units with a specific... Alright, well, we are at war, so we're going to push the war, and we're also going to try and get that... 18 turns, yep. Yeah. I figured there would be a term limit to that quest, and yes, indeed, that is. How would your chances be against this? Uh, mm, awful. Okay. Select new research. That one. Well, so far, this is actually pretty good. Arch, you can't be wizard, skin tone, not in the game farm. Ah. Archer battlements, arcane battlements. So those are defenses. Wizard tower. Oh, I shall build a wizard tower. Town race, smaller MRs granting them increased number of units, plus twenty percent damage. Okay, so that takes uh well, there you go. I don't even know where they are yet, which makes me a little bit worried because I don't know where they are. So they could show up on my doorstep at any point, which would be unfortunate. All right. I am just gonna continue down there, hoping that I can kill this person and take his home from him. That is gonna be the general idea. You just sit there. You have just gained or caused a grievance against another ruler. These are used to justify wars. You could also forgive them to improve your relations. I see, I see. When you are inside of the domain belonging to your enemy, you can pillage their province improvement. Oh. Peerage! Peerage! <laughs> Peerage, fun. And profitable, as it turns out. All right, now can I claim that? I can. Mononode. I don't know what mono does, but I'm sure it'll be useful somehow. Archer battlements. Wizard tower. Prison cells. Ooh. Grant two mana per turn. Um... Let's get some fortifications for now. Uh, we'll garrison these guys in there, since I have no idea where the other dude is. Uh, quest. 30% upkeep. I'll take that. Gain three equal by unit of the units killed in combat. Sure, why not? Outposts. Province improvements. Can I? Hmm. Uh, can I buy any more dudes, incidentally? I can. Not a lot of dudes, but I can buy some dudes. Food? 
food. I was insulted. Tragedy. Daring Defiance, the critical Gareth Nate Knight Beater, the masturbator of the world. For too long, the good people of this realm have bowed to you no more. No longer shall we be inviolated or intimidated by you. I stand against the blights you cast upon this realm. That's been unfortunate. Uh, yes. I'll kiss his ass a little bit, because I wouldn't like another war, if at all possibly avoidable. Alright, so I cast that thing. Uh, target right, smaller, more nervous, going Okay, that's cast out my entire race, is it? Wow, that's Nito Cheeto. Sure, make me into midgets. That is really goddamn cool. I love that. Like, the ability to cast, like, fully global spells is awesome. That is, that is great. That is really great. I am very much appreciative of that. That is some full-on Dominion shit right there. Brilliant. Alright, so... Let's see... Start Siege. In order to send him the first bleed to bridge his defenses. Make you censor. It takes a number of turns to breach the city's walls, depending on its fortification health. The following assault may be bloody, but a city is a valuable prize when captured. Units besieging the city take 20 physical damage at the start of combat. Harass defenders. Well, that one, definitely. And, uh, Well, I can't afford that one, but... Okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Damn, I... <sighs> the game... The game appears to be good. I'm... I'm as shocked as you, chat. I actually am. I didn't expect Paradox to make anything worthwhile, frankly, but... Triumph Studios appears to have, if you will excuse the pun, triumphed again, because this is fun. Uh, one of the can't promise because we are claiming no, uh, no grievances. Outpost. Okay, so he's over there, right? Fine. I'm actually kind of okay with that. Uh, how do I open. Please don't cancel the siege. Okay, so you have to select all of the things at the beginning of the siege, otherwise you don't get them. Okay, so you actually want to save up a bit of money before you do that then. Fair enough. Game has mechanics, the game runs well, the game... I mean, it's not the most graphically impressive of video games, especially the, like, the weird blurry side effect on the screen. I'm... Supposing the game is like, you're looking at this through a Palantir, you're a god, Harry, or something, but... I don't know if it's a visual effect I'm necessarily overly fond of, but... Uh, it is not a visual effect I hate, either, so, you know, not the worst thing. Okay, uh, I can attack now, yes? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to do this manually, because I want to see what sieges look like. Alright, so they've got a little palisade. They have uh, a wizard. Since they're the defender, they get the first turn. That makes a certain amount of sense. This is a ranged unit, which excels at dealing physical damage from a distance. It is vulnerable to melee attacks and should be kept in the back line. All the units have plenty of little stats. There's different units that do different things, like shielded units. There's there's counters of shielded units. Those were supposed to be countered by the dudes with big o sordos. A powerful melee fighter specializing in high damage charges. Its attacks can cancel defense mode which makes it strong against shield units and support units. Hmm. 
Ah, it does show you the range. It just doesn't do it very well, shall we say. Okay. I'm surprised the spiders can't climb walls, honestly. Jump. Jumps to target. Ooh, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I move... No, what? Rotate. Ah, there is a rotate key. Okay, I was wondering, actually, if there was a rotate key. There is. Uh... But uh, now we're... Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Bounce. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cute. That is pretty goddamn cute. I like that. That is... That is pretty... Pretty gosh darn cute. I cannot lie. That is pretty awesome. Uh, web. Deals damage in a one hex radius. Immobilized base station is inflicting immobilized for one turn. Alright, what do you got? You have defense mode warding. Strength from steel. Time friendly units lose all stacks of bolts of defense, bolts of resistance for each stack lost. Heals 8%. Temporary hit points gain strengthened. Okay, so that's a pseudo heal. Two bolts to defense. Alright. We'll bolster that unit then. And we'll move it forward as a bit of a distraction. Magic! Magic! I'm presuming shooting up on walls has a dick old chance of succeeding. Yep, pretty much. Hold, oh, little tards! I know, you're about to get your ass beat by like four enemy units, but... You now somebody's gonna have to take the beating and it's gonna be you. Okay, the archers did more damage there than I had uh, entirely anticipated or hoped for. Ouchies. Alright, well... These guys can just flank that. I'm almost a little bit disappointed they didn't just murder them outright, honestly. Doggos. Which was the heal? Okay, a little bit too far. The I don't like the clicky interface that you've got to like like unselect stuff a little bit too much. No, me a super fan. Right. Okay, that should give them some temporary hit points. I think. I didn't really notice any difference, mind you, but... Zappy. Deals some time and two others within three hexes. Yes, yes. Bazap. Crossbows against shields. Yeah, not a not a whole lot of damage, but if they're shielded. Then they then they don't have a zone of control, so I can just leave. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And a little bit of fire. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is pretty damn good, honestly. Combat feels okay. I do wish there was a way to move units whilst the units was doing things, as the whole like attack and then keep attacking, like keep playing the attack animation until you've done the, the requisite amount of damage. It's a little... Oh, a little bit early uh, Civ 2 esque but eh. And you can speed it up, so... Okay, so you guys had the charge ability. 
which is supposed to break shield. Uh -huh. Okay, well, at least they don't get to retaliate if you do that, apparently. Woof. Speeders. Also, there's something weirdly fuzzy about the graphics. Kinda hurts my head just a little bit. That is not what I intended to do. Fry in the depths of hell, filthy rat pe- no. Well, I tried. Yeah, shooting up walls is not very effective as it turns out, surprisingly enough. But I feel like we're doing pretty well. In fact, I feel like we're absolutely beating the shit out of them. Pew, 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 pew. Steam reviews are mixed, though. Really? Huh. Steam reviews are mixed, says chat. I'm surprised. I mean, this doesn't feel like a mixed game. I'll have a look at it once this combat is over to see what the problem is, because, uh, uh, I mean, so far, I'm quite enjoying it. Maybe I've missed something, because God, God, Lord, oh Lord, I remember I was playing Victoria 3, and I was like, well, this isn't too bad, and then chat was like, hold on, you should look at this, I was like, okay, and I did, and I realized, oh, none of the buttons actually do anything. It's all pointless fluff, and there's no actual simulation anywhere. in your prison or crypt. You can either hand them over to their rightful owners and get their equipment in the process, or you can keep them here for now. Mito Chito. Oh, damn it. Well, if I'd known that, I would have waited a turn. Uh, absorb. I would have preferred to absorb it. Alright, I'll vassalize it then, because it's the only real option I have there, so... You have gained a level. What will you do with it? I'll just boost my magey stuff again, I guess. All non heroes and I'm getting two experience each turn. That's pretty good. Nice. And now I need to go up here to try and deal with the elf who's uh, interfering with my territorial integrity. What the? Look, I have a beholder. How did you get that? I don't know. His name is Bob. <laughs> it likes me, I guess. If you say so. Right, I do need to now go deal with the spirit wolves as well. So they're still there. Good. I'm tempted to send this army out to, like, scout, because they are pretty damn quick. They might get their little asses caught and murdered, though, which would be less than ideal. Right, produced market, stonemason boosted, tavern boosted, wizard tower crypt, wizard tower prison cells, mint, more money, more money, more problems. More money sounds like a pretty good idea, honestly. Right, where's the prison screen? Where is the prison screen? You have opened the Rally of the Leeches overview. Here, you can rally armies from your vassals and conquered ancient wonders. Cute. The amount of units you can rally is determined by how many vassals and ancient wonders. You ah, own. prison. I thought I have prison. Huh. Oh, a crypt. Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay. Right, that makes sense. Because I did beat him to death on the battlefield. Okay. I was like, 
crypt? Why, why do we keep you in the crypt? That's a weird place to put a prisoner. Sell the remains. Oh. I get it. I killed him. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Enough arcane scales to choose a new tome to add to your research library. Ew. Additional tomes will expand the selection of arcane that one. skills available to you. Because that one's red. And I like the red magic so far. Fire is sacred. It is the beginning and the end. It is passion and destruction. It is life and death. A fire mage. Harness the essence of the flame. Watch it bring your enemy. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. Uh, focus crystal. Jesus. Dishnev says it seems to be a mixture of some people having crashes, multiplayer being a bit rocky, lack of proper campaign, and some some old school of I don't like change. And Mr. Twisted Fantasy says, hey Arch, I'm late to the stream. What's your verdict on this game so far? Would you recommend or no? Well, I'm going to go check out the Steam reviews right now, because apparently people say it's mixed. But at the moment, like, I'm quite enjoying this. So I want to see uh, what people are complaining about, if it's something specific. So let's have a peek. Well, to be fair, there's only been 30 reviews, so, I mean, there's not a... It's not a lot. Uh... Every single effing game is broken at launch. That uh, was one review. Crashed three times for me in eight minutes. Good game, but the main thing is why destroy it with no units and no race values. Every race is the same. It doesn't matter what race you pick, you can change its traits. So race is only cosmetic. True, but you could just play with the regular races, I guess. Uh, multiplayer option repeatedly fires on error code. Minus two, I see. Fix multiplayer, uh, yep. And crashes before you can load into the game. Alright, so a lot of people are reporting some pretty serious stability issues. I have not experienced any myself yet, so who knows? Um, but there does appear to be people who have stability issues, so I don't know. To be fair, my computer is pretty beastly, so that might very well be a big part of it. Uh, Rainbow Clover. Rainbow Clover? I get that's what I got. Uh, Ruins of Industry. Bolstering unit, two of three unit determined. Uh, bolstering units which sustain damage. Okay, well, we'll cast it and see what happens. So do be forewarned if you're going to pick it up. Uh, maybe wait for a patch or two or for the developers to address that. Because, I don't know, like, stability issues can be... Like, there is, there is almost no way to, um... Mm, I'm losing allegiance. Why am I losing... Is it because they're a different affinity than me, I'm guessing? Alignment good. You gain 9, cost 54, modify 20% of vassal cities. Value relative caution, allegiance per turn one, base value two, require vessel regiment ten, twenty three allegiance. So I'm at minus twenty three. And then you level it up to gain the the better things, okay. So I'm gaining one allegiance per turn, plus two, relations cautious, minus one. So I am gaining. I believe. Alright, so you probably want to vassalize cities that are more uh, in keeping with your uh, cultural values. Eternal Freeze. Though fate of blind luck, the currents change and chaos bring attention to a chilling scene. An ice spider... Sp spider? Spider! Matriarch. Hmm...
Stop them? I'll support this experiment in freezing. <laughs> okay, lesser snow spirit unit, chaos crisis. Chaos boon, mystery bonus. Sure, okay. Gives you a little quests to do as well, which is always neato cheeto. Alright, so there's my enemy. Um, Eternal freeze, that's over there. All right, well, I'll send you over there to deal with that. Game's got plenty of mechanics. Like, I am quite enjoying it so far. Uh, Citizens here both the Throne City gain 10% in all types of income. I really should be building an outpost, though, shouldn't I? But I'm feeling like I should... Hmm, like, I shouldn't be building an outpost... Well, like, Citizens ability unstable. Domain... Domain minus 36. So it's because it's large, I guess. Domain. Yes, because it's large, people are pissy with me. Okay, uh, that's weird, but if you will, it's like, you're way too successful, master. Stop it. Sorry. <laughs> that's. It's kind of retarded, but if you say so. Um, does any of this boost stability? Knowledge. Gold. Tavern? Tavern, okay. I'll queue up the tavern then. Alright, um, maybe we make an outpost... Maybe we make an outpost here. Acquires hero. Okay, sure. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I do have some more money. I could get some more units for this little mini stack. Ruins of industry, bolstering which increase defense when this is damage. Non-industrious unit. Okay, so all non-industry units gain this banner. Uh, and there is an upkeep cost on it. Okay, cancel it for now then. Too much territory to manage because of the lazy town guards. I mean, possibly. I've never been a fan of that. It's like, oh, you're very big and powerful. Y your people don't like that. Why? Why would people not like that? It's like, we have too much space, Massa. We don't like it. Okay. Uh, receive a of the we are in your mind. Go out and train a new one. Hero item: Hunter Spider. Tier three mount. I thought he already had a Hunter Spider. Well, there you go. Go and have yourself the the thing you already had. <laughs> it's like, thank you. Uh, why? Well, a game told me to. Okay. Just a bit out of range. So, do I heal in friendly territory? I mean, I would I would presume so, but I wouldn't be sure so. Rainbow Clover required. I know! I, am I supposed to do something with it? I thought it was just... Okay, you've leveled up two... Hmm. Vigor, because you can hardly go wrong with extra hit points, can you? Right. You chill there for a little bit. Whilst these go and scout the outpost, and you... Let's try and kill this Frostbiter thing for the quest. Ah, oh. oh, nice, okay, so the, there's a little bit of, uh, 
you know, difference in the battle scenario as well. Alright, so this guy is not a mage, I don't think. He does have a magic spell, but he doesn't have access to the... No, spells being prepared. Okay, maybe... No, he is! Bane the Sorcerer. Well, never mind then. Alright. If I click that and do... No, I gotta move in range. Which is two... Yes, I'm still out of range of them. But I thought I was in range. Didn't you show me? The fact that it doesn't show you the range marker properly is a little bit annoying. Cause I didn't... Okay, so that shows you the range from where you are. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Alright, you have ranged weapons. You're melee. Uh, what are you? You're... Sure. Yes. Okay. In which case, shield wall would probably be the correct option, I'm guessing. Alright. Hmm. Might want to try and flank around with the Dark Warriors. And maybe the Doggos. And maybe the Spiders as well. Get the overwhelming tactics boost. Come closer, filthy little, uh, 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 snow monkeys. It's the best racial epithet I could come up with for snow spirits at short notice. Remember to equip items? Yeah, I know, I did forget about that. Alright, so retaliation. They hit back for more damage than I do to them straight up. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm presuming they're weak to fire, though. That seems a reasonable assumption, everything considered. And it does appear as such. Oh. Low foliage, obscuring. Okay, so there is some terrain. Gain obscured. Alright, shooting damage is pretty good against them. And I'm hoping the magic bolt will be decent. Yep, it is. Hmm. They move fast, don't they? Alright, I kind of want to try and crash them onto my anvil guards here. And then get around their flanks. That's the idea. Ow! Okay. Well, that was a lot more painful than I'd expected. That was a tremendous amount more painful than I'd expected. I mean, at least their ranged attacks weren't that impressive. But yeah, that that was um, that was pretty awful. That was pretty awful. Uh, are you... Yeah, you are actually frozen and stunned. Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, okay, well, I'm in range of you, because one of my units resisted being frozen. Uh, you resisted it too. Okay, let's... Let's begin spreading out a little bit, because... Ow. Cast another one of those. Oh. I mean, it is a ice spider matriarch. I suppose I should have expected it to have some, some creepy deepy nonsense up its sleeve. That unit's health pool is looking a bit distressingly low. Dark warriors pulled off their flank pretty darn nicely. Alright, you guys, uh, if you leave, are you just gonna die? I feel like you might just die. Nice! 
Critical hits, Banzai! So, what does the replay look like? What, what, what does watch replay mean? What does it do? Alright. It literally just does the movement. I was kind of hoping that there might be like some kind of cinematic replay, which would be like zooming around the map, like, oh wow, ee, look at that. Okay, it is. Isn't this amazing? But nah, it's, it's literally just a replay. Okay. Well, it's a nice tool to see what happened, I guess. A frost shield, a cache of riches, or a tome of knowledge. Or mana. Then I attack a stake for frost damage. That's not pretty cute. Give me the shield. Alright, let's actually uh, do that thing with checking out the things and the things. The stuff and the stuff. Alright, so he has a fiery orb. Defense hit points. He is a hero from the real dwarves. He's unaffiliated... He is a sorcerer, so... Magic attack deal 20% plus damage. I feel like that might be better off on this guy. Uh, fire, ignores phlegm obstacles, it moves over on... Obstacle... Ignore phlegm obstacles, it moves over, becomes on fire. Huh. They mean to burning. Hunt a spider. So now I have a dread spider, which is a tier 2 mount, and a hunter spider is a tier 3 mount. Well, I mean, we did the quest for the other guy to get that, so I'm not going to take that from him. That'd be mildly churlish, frankly, and we wouldn't do that to someone. No. And I do not... No, wait, no, no, I just, I just moved because I forgot it, it hadn't been a turn yet because I'm a bit retarded. All right. Um, you can get that... Uh, you can get that, whatever the hell it does. I guess it stabs people. I don't know why that has a... Oh. Huh, so there's... The, huh. Alright, we'll give him the spider. And I could give him a crusader's... Claymore or a Staff of Decay. Well, that gives him the Fiery Magic Bolt. Hmm. What do you have? Ten electricity damage. Yeah, that one's better. And I unlocked a Pyromancer. Lesser Magma Spirit. Sure. Yeah. No, those are still Steel Sapers, because they didn't upgrade them to the other thing. Against fire damage. Experience leader. Because extra experience on everyone, making everyone better, is pretty good. Uh, the Real Holstenator says, To shout out Bob Boring's name, point, apparently the auto-resolve actually simulates the battle, not just dice rolls. Hmm. That is cute. Alright, you're doing pretty good. Uh, no. Oh, because I clicked on one of their mines as if I was about to raid it. Okay. Fair enough. I was like, no, um, I wasn't, I was plan wasn't planning to declare war on them. <laughs> so, not in my immediate it itinerary. All right. Um, they're a bit pissy with me, but I'm sure they'll get over it eventually. Build a conduit, tranquility pool, plus knowledge, or research post. 
Which does the same thing, but that gives me a little bit more knowledge. That gives me a little bit more mana. Um, knowledge. The tranquility pool acquired. I am a pool of tranquility, I am. No one has ever been quite so tranquil as I have. Right. Do you have anything over there? No. It doesn't look like you do. Well, you're about to have even less over there. Alright. Am I still improving my relationship? Allegiance minus... Yes. Okay, so the... So the gray bar is filling. All right, I thought the gray bar was losing influence. I was like, what? But no, it's filling. Okay. Did that make you more sensu? All right. Defeat the remaining two rulers. I shall try my darndest video game. I shall try to find their homes, burn them, kill their women, their children, their dogs, pets, favorite birds, pet moths, whatever they have. Oh, God damn it! Uh, my lord, I know I just told you about my favorite horse that died when I was young, but it turns out I also have a sister and she's gone, my lord. I... Bitch, you have a very tragic backstory, you know that? She migrated to Archtopia when he recruited me. He's been prospecting for precious stones and metals since she was a wee girl. Really? Like your baby sister was like, I'm gonna go out and find a gold mine. Very... <laughs> very scaveny. Uh-huh. Alright. Uh... I'll go find his baby sister, who's apparently off gold mining. Uh, Tia wanted to come produce, to produce in the city. In the seventh band, army under control to your throne, Ozzy. That one, because I won't want to see what a bandit army looks like. Oh. It's not a bad little looking army, actually. Uh, right, anyway, so where's your city? Um, quests. Quests. Right. Active. There. Uh, zero out of six units dealt with. Target location. Oh, she's over there, Jesus! Oh, hello. She's apparently finding herself an enormous nest of caustic worms. Ah. You know women are always out there finding nests of caustic worms to play with. Hmm. Well, it'll be a lovely test for my new bandit army, I suppose. Let's hope the caustic worms haven't spat all over her or filled her with their goo, because that would have been dreadful if that would have happened. Trespass? Trespass, motherfucker, we're at war! Are we? Are we not? I thought we were at war. Oh, in that case, let's be at war. Now listen, he insulted my mother. Or something. I don't remember the reason why, but I'm pretty sure I don't like him. Damn, they've built some walls here, huh? Alright, um... Construct onager. ooh. Oh. Why, yes, that does sound pretty cute. Okay, and that's going to take four turns. Right, well, might as well bring all the armies up there to make sure it actually happens properly. Searing Blade Ignite sustains 25 fire damage. Wayfinder. Skill of a Very fast movement. That would be nice for scouts, but for now, this. Bob Borenheim says, Arch, knowing women, the worms are likely her babies. Oof. Oof. Oh, no, she's brown. She's a brown woman. She's not a white woman. Jesus, calm down. Alignment changed to very evil. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm... I, I, Sure, yeah, no. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take it. Uh, am I still gaining plus two relations? Cautious? Yes, so I'm still gaining two. So, why is that red? 
why is that red? Now I'm curious. Is it because I'm evil? Why is that red? It, am I... No, I'm gaining 55 a turn, so... Cost of finding a new city, 200. Okay, let's actually save up that 200, because I don't know if I need to pay to claim the outpost again. Oh. Video game, don't you do... The video game has done the thing where it scrolls. There we go. Goodbye. Alright, well, there you go. Anything else I can get here? Uh, I can get all of these. Unity, expand government, city cap. Well, I don't need that just yet. Road building? You know, roads would be pretty cute, but I don't have any generals to spare. Excavate earthen terrain in the underground. There's an underground? This is the underground. There's an underground! It is rich in minerals. Well, fuck me. I didn't even know. Huh. Cute. Very cute, in fact. I'm presuming... Ah! Ah! Underground passage. You know, that makes a lot of sense. That explains why it's named that. Oh, are you gonna come and counterattack me, bitch? You're gonna try. Alright, we might have ourselves a battle over here. Wait. Perchance. Hmm. Okay, so... They, so, hmm, so you, you can't attack them when they're like this. You can't attack them outside of the city. You've got to wait for them to actually enter the city. Okay, well, that's a tiny bit annoying, but. Fair enough, fair enough. Continue your crusade against the caustic worms. Uh, speaking of, summon lesser magma spirits. Let's do that. Because that sounds cute. Right. Is that ready to cast now? Yes, it is. So I can cast that over here, right? Right? To put it in that army. Yes. Nice. God, I am liking this game so far, though. This is... This is pretty good. This is pretty dang good. Where's what? You have orders. Keep going, you lazy suckers. Alright, Artropia has produced a tavern, and the people are happy with me yet again. A bathhouse would get them to be even happier with me. Forged tower, bastion barricades, bastion shield units, oh, cavalry shield units, crypts. Uh, plus Imperium income, 10% gold income. Build that... And queue that up whilst we're at it. So we're not going to steal if you chant. Mm, none of these are all that good, but we'll get that one. Oh, I can summon. I can do that multiple times. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, Okay, I was wondering, like, where can you use more? Yeah, you can, but you need to cast it again. All right. Um, do they cost money to upkeep? Do they? No, they cost mana. Right, that makes sense. They would cost mana. Uh, a new rally. Bannerman def Defender. Recruitment points. Okay, so you can recruit their units occasionally. Mm, okay, that's cute. Uh, can I bring them into war with me? No, it doesn't look like it. City can be integrated, but eventually you can integrate them fully into your empire. Okay. 
Yeah, they're not a huge fan of me because, you know, I'm, I, I literally did murder all of their people and I am remarkably evil. So there, there is that. There is that. It's like, we're really nice and you're really evil. We can't be friends. Have you tried though? Like, reap down, reach deep down into your goodness and see if you can't find it in your little tiny vile heart to give me the benefit of the doubt as well. Ugh. Well, well, well. Okay, so now I have enough magic to unlock these second level tomes. Ooh, Tome of Necromancy. Mm, I do like Necromancy. Summon Gremlin. Oh, I do like Gremlins. Revels of Carnage. Ah. The Have Irresponsible Sex book. Mm, I'll get the Mayhem one. Because it looks angry. Like, whenever a book looks like it is actually screaming at you, that's usually a good sign. You should pick up that book. Because it probably wants to be your friend. It's probably screaming because it's lonely. Let's summon another one of those little cutie pies. And I think next turn we can attack the city. I think. Are we ready to rock and roll? We are. Let's get to it. Vassal stains our NPC ally, says uh, Excelsior. Excel. Excelsius? Excelsius! In chat. Well, they don't seem to be helping me with my war much. Maybe because they just don't like me. Which would be a reasonable reason to not help out in a war, I do guess. Damn, they got a lot of pikey dudes. Alright, so they've got many pikey dudes. Which excels at dealing magical damage and applying status effects. It is vulnerable to melee attacks and should be kept in the back line. Alright. Can you jump? No. Is that a breach? I'm presuming that's a breach. It sort of looks like a breach. Right, arcane Guard. Uh, they don't actually have a lot of... Is a scout unit. Which is weak, Archers. Kept out of battle. If for Which is good for me. Alright, little cute kawaii spider thingies. Go forth and mildly perturb the enemy with your presence. Onagers, so what exactly do you do? Nothing, apparently. Alright, well, that was uh, disappointing, but uh, very well. Keep all of the scuddy, scuttly little units in one place so they can all have the overwhelming tactic advantage. No, don't step on the, like the fire. <laughs> Lord, why? <laughs> I I don't know why you did that either. Like, that was very foolish of you. I would not have stepped in the fire if I was you, but then again, I'm not. You have magic, so... Magic should be pretty good at shooting up hills. And yes, yes it is, sort of. I didn't even crossbows aren't actually bad at it. Okay, shield units are supposed to be able to counter pike units, so we can do a little bit of an attack over there as well. Okay, well that was some bullshit, whatever it was. They're gonna come out to fight. Brave. Foolish, but brave. Ow. I'm just one model, so I need to do a lot of animations to do all my damage. Huh. 
I admit, I did not expect them to all sally out at my ass. I, uh, I sort of, I sort of thought they'd just, you know, stay there. Uh, this they did not do. On the bright side, that has given me plentiful and brilliant opportunities to outflank them like absolutely mad. An opportunity that I, of course, intend to take. Start with a little bit of magic last. And continue with a bit of magic last. And then we can engage in a bit of traditional hitty nonsense. They do seem to have been buffed big time by whatever the hell they were doing in there, though. Well, not buffed enough, however. That's one unit down. Hmm. Immobilized. Alright, they've got to be... St no, that requires four action points. Okay, fair enough. Uh, oh, they can just climb the tower. Nice. I'm not too worried if the little fire spirits will die, so we're going to keep them there attacking. Can you do anything now? You can! Okay. Ooh, AoE effect. Nice. Okay, so they're really powerful, but they can only be fired every other turn. Right. Makes a certain amount of sense. Especially considering how much goddamn damage they just did. Uh, kill that, because I don't like them. Never mind. Right. Oh, I don't even need to bounce. I can actually just go up there and kill them. Because that's a breach. Okay, it would be nice if the breaches were a little bit more obviously breachy instead of just like a a pile of sort of pseudo rubble. Like, that looks like a breach. That, that just, I don't even know what that looks like, but it doesn't really look like a breach. That's my point. Hmm. All right, so you're kind of countered by the spiky dudes, so let's be a little bit careful. Because they attack first, which means they don't really get the whole chargey thing out of them, but... They are sort of pseudo-surrounded, so maybe that doesn't really matter. Alright. Uh, kill those. Because if you can kill an enemy, always do kill an enemy, because enemies are bad for you. Except, of course, they didn't die, which is less ideal. Kill. Thank you. And that, apparently you lowered the morale of everybody around them. Hmm. Any spells I would like? I mean, they're kind of bunched up there. And fact, we can outright kill him. Oh. Got him. I keep clicking the wrong button. There. Boom. Nito Jito. Alright, this is going pretty well. Well, for being units that are supposed to counter the charging units, I don't feel very countered, honestly. Fast, 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 fast. Oh no, my free summon of uh, the sp fire spirit things. The humanities. Kill. Or eat, more correctly, probably. I do wish you could do multiple things at once, because it's kind of annoying to, like, watch as they do the thing, when you could then be doing other things whilst they did the thing, you know? I guess I can just speed it up. Right, deals with that. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of determined opposition left, shall we say. No, no, no. Oh, 
Also, I wish the camera wouldn't move by itself. It's giving me a genuinely a little bit of a headache every time the camera zooms, and I'm like, please don't do that. My eyes were not ready for you to move the camera like that. Please cease and desist. I beg of you. And you're still reloading. Well, I guess that may, may be why they sallied out, because if they didn't, I would literally just... No, 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 I'm not gonna let them run away, Jesus! Because if they just sat there, I could just shoot them with stuff for all eternity, and they would just die screaming as ro rocks rain down upon their poor little heads. That would be a very valid reason to turn around and flee, frankly. Alright. I fear this one unit might escape my wrath. Unless I can set it on fire. Not that one. Uh, that one. Burn in hell! Ah! Oh, that was pretty simple. Alright, is this my outpost now? Capture outpost. Okay, so outpost can just be captured without requiring to be, you know, bought with the thing. Okay, nice. Alright, in that case... Uh... Hmm. Roads would be kind of nice. I can't lie. It would be it would be kind of neat to have roads. I would like the ability to have roads. As right now the roads I have are a little bit derp. Uh Charles road cost of 3 gold per hex. Right. Well, you can head down there for the time being. Closer to magic, a distinguished envoy of the Real Dwarf Council appears before you. After acquired formality, she states her business. Your eminence, you know us as the Real Dwarfs, as a proud and industrious people. We seek to elevate ourselves from the worldly muck of this realm. The envoy smirks, we wish to better understand the ways of magic. Over time, we might even augment our kin with the powerful flow of the Astral Sea. Hmm. One more conduits. Okay, uh, conduits are... Stop doing the zoom thing, game. Conduits are these things. Maybe? Or are they a building thing? Let's see if they're a building thing. Uh, I think they're those things. Okay, well, I gotta find one then. That sounds like one. Okay. Outpost, uh, been captured, possible complete in one turn. You go over there and we'll start making a road. Well, that does look indeed rather perverted. The gold vein is overrun with the writhing bodies of the young caustic worms. Their corrosive mucus oozes into the nearby fissures. The screech of their sigh can be heard echoing from the deep tunnels from which the young caustic worms hatched. The young caustic worms have been feasting on gore tusk piglet. Ha. Huh. Judging by the partially dissolved remains of the litter of the area. Is it foolish to believe that Bane, the sorcerer sibling, is still alive? Hmm. I <laughs> just leave. Right, no, nope, she's a goner. Let's back off. Well, uh, higher risk battle, eh? Hmm. We'll see if we can pull it off. Or respectable dwarves, I say. We ally immediately. Surely they are blessed by the ancestor thing, says Pickle Father Nurgle. Yes, they are the most honorable and forthright and upstanding of dwarves ever seen in this land. 
You have magic, steel blast. You are shieldy dudes. You are more casters. You are yet further casters with a healing ability. Three turn cool. Wow. I've, is my entire army casters? Well, that could be a small problem. Hmm. Yes, I imagine that could indeed be a tiny, a tiny point of perturbance for me in the future. My entire army is casters and scouts. Huh. This could be what we call a problem. This might very well be what we call a problem. Right, let's hope the enemy is particularly stupid today, shall we? So if I shoot bow, no, I cannot then move. I was thinking like, okay, shoot bow, then move. But no, shoot bow takes all of your stuff. Hmm. Well, then that means you're about to be eaten by a horde of caustic worms. Good luck with that. Let's bolster their defense, as I'm thinking they're about to need it. Really, really, really badly. Um... Uh, Blaze of the Horde would probably be a nice one here. I'm going to need all the magic support I can possibly guess to get if I'm going to have any real hope of living through today. God, this unit is going to be attacked by, like, literally everything beneath the stars. Adjacent friendly units get bold and bolster resistance. I really want to move them up there, though. Alright. Let's dig the fuck in. Dig the fuck in and hope we can blast them to pieces. Ah, pain and suffering. Well, the scout units is not feeling too good right about now. Ow. Oh, and they're all shock units, which means they cancel the retaliation too, so I don't even get to attack them back. Hmm. Yes, I feel like this might not work out very well. Alright, well... Keep spamming out that ability, as it is pretty much the only hope I have. Alright, can your magic do some serious damage? Uh, well, it, you can do some damage. If it's serious or not, I'm not convinced. Alright. Oh, you only have ranged attacks. Oh, that's another problem. And you're frozen, which means you're useless to me. Okay. I managed to kill one of their dudes. Honestly, that would do more damage to me than to them, so... Try and just hold... Uh, never mind. That probably makes holding difficult. If that unit hadn't been frozen, I could have healed them and maybe had a chance, but... Right now, I am not optimistic about my opportunity here. And in fact, I am viewing the future through a rather dark lens right now. Well, at least they can make it easier for the next army to come along. You can kill those. Nice. Okay. 
does that affect friendly units? Doesn't look like it, but let's not risk it. Alright, and we can't kill either of them, but we can hurt one of them. Okay, Piggy Wiggies, fall back one step, if you can even survive. Okay. Uh, that almost kills them. Do you want that? Uh, friendly, adjacent friendly units gain 20 hit points. Let's try that instead. Alright, that will keep the uh, pigs or whatever the hell these things are fighting for a little while longer. Ow. The issue is that will also allow them to tag all of my mages. Actually, it'll allow them to just kill my mages, which is worse than them being tagged, actually. And significantly worse. Okay, well, I can probably kill that unit. No matter which way I go, it just gets worse, doesn't it? I can blow them up. If I move in there, that is not going to help me much. If I move over there, that isn't going to help me much. Right. I do wish the ranged units could actually at least, you know, fight in melee. Like, I don't know, pull out a knife or something. I could try to save them and have them live, but I don't like them enough to try and save them, so let us attempt to es expedite their death instead. Oh well, it was just the little stupid bandit army. I was quite 50-50 on their ability to live through that anyways. I guess he's gonna have to save his sister all by himself. Such is the tragic duty of a big brother. Right, now, the outpost. So, that can... Uh, found a city. Yes, found a city. Uh, city is being formed in three turns. All right. In the meantime, you are healing, right? You are, just slowly. So, I've got gold income now. Uh, what would another hero cost me? What would another hero cost me? Well, actually, I, I'm still over my... Ooh. A lot. Another hero would cost me a lot. Okay. I figured that would add to my hero cap thingy, but apparently not. Okay, so we'll focus on the outpost first. And then we'll probably focus on another outpost, and then an army? Then again, I don't need an- I don't need a hero to have an army, do I? That's kind of the- the thing. Uh, can I disband this unit? Because I don't really- yes. Right. I wasn't too impressed with these guys. So this thing can go back, go back to being a uh, scout. In fact, I should buff it with the thing, shouldn't I? I should buff it with that thing. And I should build another army that can help out my main army to continue attacking the evil elves and their filthy, filthy hoarding ways. In the meantime, though, um... A forest in camp. Right. Army. So what do I got? 
Steel Shaper. Uh, I haven't been particularly fond of them. They don't seem all that useful, honestly. Houndmaster is not bad. It gives you a free unit, which is always nice. Halberdier. Melee Strike 15 compared to the Anvil Guard's 10. Arbalast. Overdraw, overdraw Crossbows. Ah, yes. Just, um, you know, pull the crossbows up a bit harder. <laughs> and it'll it'll shoot harder. Hmm. You, uh, you don't say. That sounds retarded. Let's try the halberdiers then. So it's six units and a hero, or is it six units? Ain't six units total. Uh, the armies are quite piddly small. Houndmaster, Pyromancer, and uh, was I researching something? Gremlins. I'm not 